Labour Party in Haiti Doha's next political destination, analysts predict. <laughs> Is it true, Labour Party? Political analysts are speculating that former governor of Imo State, Emeka Ihe Doha, may join the Labour Party LP as his next political destination following his recent resignation from the People's Democratic Party, PDP. In his resignation letter addressed to the People's Democratic Party chairman of the Mbutu Ward, Ihe Doha cited a malignment a misalignment, rather, between the party's direction and his personal beliefs as a reason for his departure. While Ihe Dohao has yet to officially announce his next move, analysts believe that his eyes are set on the 2027 Emo governorship election, with the Labour Party emerging as the front runner to provide the necessary political platform to prepare his gubernatorial ambition. Renowned political commentator Mr. John Uchoma highlighted to Ino News that Labour Party's stronghold in Imo State and the Southeast region, describing it as the most vibrant political party capable of propelling Ihedora's gubernatorial aspirations to fruition. The Labour Party is solid in Imo. It is a mass movement, and Ihedora would find it as the right platform to revive his guber ambition, Uchoma stated. He emphasized that the Labour Party's electoral successes in the 2023 general elections, including winning the presidential election in Imo State and securing seats in the Senate, House of Reps, and State House of Assembly, which he noted underscored its potential to mobilize support for Ihejo's candidacy. Echoing Uchama's recent sentiment, Mr. Enes and Joko and other analysts emphasized Ihejo's potential to enhance the Labour Party's political influence and pose a formidable challenge to both the All Progressive Congress and the People Democratic Party in the gubernatorial race in Imo State in 2027. The Labour Party enjoys enormous political capital in Imo State and the South East. It has massive acceptance and the P2B factor remains so strong in the state, he stated. Ndoku pointed to Governor Alex Oti's impressive performance in Abia State as evidence of the Labour Party's capacity to deliver governance and connect with the masses, factors that could bolster Ihedeo's bid for governorship. With political sympathy stemming from his controversial removal as governor, combined with the Labour Party's grassroots appeal, Ihedeo can leverage these factors in his, con in his quest to reclaim the governorship of Imo State in the 2027 elections, he stated. This is what I'm going to say. Well, I don't know, but with what they are saying, with what they said in this news, with the political sympathy, you know, for those who do not know, Ehedoha was the one removed for Hope Uzodema to fit to sit on that set. Ehedoha has already begun, and I think six months or nine months, I can't say for sure, he stayed there. And the people, according to the people, they say you don't need work. They said they don't. If you ask, I say, ah, that man, he came in with the mindset to work. Do you understand? Maybe, you know, it's if, if it's combined with the labor's part, just like they said it in this particular news. But let us just see, Sha. Look, we see 2027. Well, it's not so far a long time, but it's also a long time. Let us all see how everything will unfold. That is, if he's concerned, all this one, there are still speculations. He has not come outside to say this is what all these things they're speculating. To me, it's not even speculation. I think they are just giving him ideas. <laughs> you know, so one person mentioned this one, mentioned this one. You said, but Sabi, make I check this one. This is the way they talk, share. You know, bad. Make I check them out. But whatever be the case, we got to wait for 2027. Go keeping us alive to find out what really happened. Eh? Because I know that um, APC is tenure in Nemo State. Believe you me, it's no, no, no. It's gone. The people of Imo State, I don't think if you go and mention anything A, and they just mention A, your mouth, you do like say you could pronounce A, ah. They could tell you, say, no, never. They could carry just two slippers for hand. They run. They could tell you, say, they don't want because they don't see premium Shegibanza for the current administration hand. That is only Biafra People's Party. Thank God for coming back home, okay? We Ibalize will want him back as a governor. We is highly welcome to join Labour Party, the party of true and real hope, but not such promise by Agbado Party. Well, like I said, we all have to wait. This is our, these are all speculations. He has not even come out to say this is what he's going to do next. He's not coming, he has not come out to say this is where he's going next. All these things, like I say, are speculations. And the most important thing is see, wherever the party you are, 
I think it does not so much have to do with the party than the person. If you as a person tell yourself that you see, this is what I want to achieve with this state. I want Imo state people to know that there can be true governors. The way Abia state governor came, the thing is, it's not a thing of party. It's a thing of individuality. If you are really, really determined that I want the people of this state to witness that they can actually be good governors, that it is actually possible for us to have good governors in the country, then voila, you work towards it. And believe you me, you should already have a plan. Yes, even as somebody who is an individual, you never enter into any party. I want to believe that there are some areas you will look and say, this is the areas I would like to touch. Do you understand? And that is why I say so for people who they just want to be there, they don't need to have a plan. All they need is to hop from one political party to another. Anyone will take them, then take them. Anyone will then feed you, then do. Then come outside. You will not, not think to shake the people. But if you see someone who has already planned before, who don't already talk, say, now which thing I want to be this. Now the sectors who I want to touch, now be this. Once they come in, it is as if, you know, they have the anointing to move, to go forward. Uh -huh. Compared to somebody who, uh, we're saying that you're not in in the fine. So whatever is, that is being done, you know, whatever he's going to do will be like an afterthought of what he would, he, it will be an afterthought after he has gotten to that particular office. Okay? So, um, yes, like I said, he was the type of governor that, according to Imo Laito, that's what I heard, they said he was really working before, you know, they told him to carry his load and go, before he was sacked. And Uzadima replaced him. And yes, because of that, anytime he comes out, there is all of the spots they have for th that kind of person. You know, person when I vote for. Yes, yeah, so, and in fact, he's the one they truly, the people truly voted for in that period. Yes, they're the one the people truly voted for. So, coming back will bring back that soft, that softness or that fondness the people had for him. You understand? And of course, making sure. He goes to a party who, you know, is people or a party that is people focused, that's focused on, you know, betterment of the, of the people, you know, and he comes in not just or doing all this thing, he comes in and really does right by the people. Uh -uh. What are you saying? Just like Governor Les Oti, they're telling him, no worry, nobody is coming out to contest 2027. Now you get her. No, uh -uh. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry yourself, sir. Now you get her. So the way they are already coming out to say that, you know, that is where they're going to say it. That is, if he does well, if his people are rented, he delivers on his mandates, and of course, he makes the state better for the indigenous residents. All right, so on this note, we've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.